Here are my beautiful tomato plants. I've been gone for eight weeks and now it's time for me to go through and do some cleaning up, pruning, so that they remain healthy and strong, get all the air and light that they need, and that the leaves are off the ground so that they are not making pathways for bugs to crawl up for disease, mold, and so forth. Here's the pile of leaves that I've removed from these plants. I've gone halfway through this box here. I'm going to show you the difference here. As you can see, there's a lot more light down here underneath. I want to be able to have access to watering, fertilizing, weeding, being able to inspect my plants, and I don't want to have any leaves on the ground. So you see all those leaves are off. By the way, these are big beef variety. What I have been primarily doing is removing suckers in these indeterminate tomato plants. You do not remove suckers for determinate. Determinate plants are often called patio or bush plants. These are called vining or indeterminate plants. And those suckers come up right in the corners of where the leaf grows out from the stalk. I'll show you that here in a second, but I want to show you here, this is another sucker. Here we have tomatoes growing out, and then we've got another branch growing out of here, and then you can see some more fruit blossoms here. You want to remove that sucker also. Just come in here, just cut past the last fruit, and remove that sucker. The sucker will take the nutrients away from the plant and decrease the productivity of the plant. So whether the sucker is coming right off from a corner, right here, or right here, or from the end of the fruit, you want to remove them. Sometimes you can be confused whether it's a sucker or a fruit, but it's really straightforward. The suckers always grow in the crotch between the leaf, or what we would call a branch in layman's term, and the stalk. But the fruit does not. The fruit is always separate and does not come out from a crotch. Here's a really good example of a sucker and fruit right here. So here's the fruit, obviously, and there's the sucker. See the fruit? There's not another stalk coming out. This is a sucker that can be removed. And then here's a sucker right here that can be removed, and another one going right there. Now often when you remove a sucker, it'll grow another one. You want to come back and keep removing them. Let's remove that right there, and we get some fruit growing there. I'm going to show you from the other side, but here you can begin to see how much more space and availability I have to work with my plants compared to these plants over here that have not been thinned out. So I hope you can see this in the video. This is the comparison between these two. And we'll take a look on the other side. It's a little bit easier to see. These plants I have pruned. You can see I've removed the leaves about six inches from the ground up over here. That's not the case. Here are several more examples of suckers growing off the fruit stem. I'm just going to remove those just so we have the fruit growing. Here's another one. And don't wait too long to do that because you're going to end up with another tomato plant growing on here which is going to have tomatoes and then you're going to want to leave it on there. Don't make that mistake. Remove it early. Something else that I do in pruning is you'll see plants will overlap each other and shade each other out. And you can see here, this is the case. So I will cut these off. And I just kind of go straight through and wherever they overlap, they get cut. I don't need to cut the whole leaf off, but you can see that really opens up a lot more light and air through the plants. Here's another example where there, it's very dense in here and I want to be able to get light and air through. And back here you can see some tomatoes. So I'm just going to come through, remove the leaves that are overlapping, making sure I'm not cutting off any fruit. And you can see as I do this, how this opens it up.
I don't want to be cutting too much foliage off, but there's now a lot more light getting down into the plants and airflow. Here I have fruit growing. It's growing another sucker here. I'm going to remove it right here. Here we've got plants crossing where they're shading each other. I'm just going to cut it out and remove it. There we go. That's much better. When plants are properly fed and have all the nutrients they need, they will grow vigorously. As a steward, as the gardener, as the master, you need to help your plants have all the nutrients they need and then help them so they don't produce too much greens and burden the plants. And you take care of that by pruning. As you're going through your garden every morning, you may find something like this. And this is worm poop. You'll notice that it's very small and there's not a lot of it, but that means that I have worms in my garden. I actually never see worms in my garden because the moment I see this, I stop what I'm doing and I get out my BT and I spray my plants to get rid of the worms. And BT, this is what it looks like. It comes in various different mixtures, but you're looking for something that will have this thuricide in it any worm that eats this organic bacteria will die. So before I even see a worm on my plants, if as soon as I see any evidence of worms, holes in leaves, or especially poop, I will get rid of the problem right then. Because once you let it get started, you will have a nightmare trying to catch up. Keep up, don't catch up. And that's the advantage of being in the garden every day. I'm done pruning with the left side of this box. I'm going to leave the video here so you can have a comparison between what I've pruned and what I haven't pruned. You see the dramatic difference in the amount of airspace and the light that can get to the fruit to allow it to ripen. You can see here it's very difficult for me even to see fruit inside of here or to work with the plants. So the things to remember is remove the leaves down below so you can work, water, fertilize, have access to your plants. If there's any leaves over, overlapping each other from plant to plant or in, in itself, remove those. Of course, remove all the suckers, and if you see any trace of insects, take care of those immediately to nip the problem in the bud. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you properly take care of the pruning of your plants, you'll have greater yields and healthier plants. For more information on pruning tomatoes, cucumbers, melons, and so forth, Check the link below for the Midlatter Gardening Course book.